originally known as Northern Lights, this book is the first in a series of three, now four, with the release of a fourth book. This it tells the story of a girl called Lyra who discovers, amongst other things, something called a alephiometer, which is why the film that was based on this book was titled The Golden Compass. Lyra is a student of sorts and resident of a kind of university building in some alternative reality slash future version of um, England, I believe, um, called Oxford, it's, I think it's Oxford University, it's Jordan. It's called Jordan, and um, I'll warn you now, there is spoilers in this video. There should be a title card that says that this is spoilers. Um, over the course of her having found this alephiometer, or being given this alephiometer by one of the like professors, the scholarly types at Jordan College slash University, um, she also discovers that the man that she has been referring to as her uncle is actually her father and a woman called Mrs Coulter is actually her mother. She then ends up going on a journey because something that's referred to as the gobblers have been taking children. This is a um, journey of discovery for Lyra who um, finds out that Mrs Coulter, who she initially ends up being an apprentice of, um, has been one of the people orchestrating taking these children. There is a belief about this stuff called Dust with a capital D that it is um, from the original Sin in the Bible. It is kind of a bible -y stuff towards the end of the book which I think a lot of the book isn't covered in the first film which and there wasn't another film made after this first one. Um, the, um, there are people that believe that this dust is um, part of the original sin from Adam and Eve and knew that it's a bad thing um, and Lord Azrael who is as it turns out Lyra's father and Mrs Coulter, who is her mother, have different opinions as to what dust can do. They journey to the north, um, and with the help of some Egyptians, um, Lyra is able to free her friend Roger and some other children that are being kept in this base of kinds um, out towards the North Pole kind of area. Um, she discovers with the help of Finn this like air balloon pilot guy and the Egyptians um a bear who's like a fighting bear called Yorick Bernison and together with Yorick and the Egyptians and others they travel across and help to rescue these children who they discover are they have these like creatures that are connected to them um, that are called daemons well demons but it's, it's spelled d-a-e-m-o-n but it's pronounced demons and these are connected to the children and what these um, gobblers who's actually the oblation board are doing with um, Mrs. Carter being in charge is separating the demons from the children before they reach a point in their life where the demons um, choose a fixed creature to be. So for example Lord Azrael's um, is some kind of panther or something like that. Um, Mrs. Coulter's is a golden monkey, there's other people that have dogs, cats, that kind of thing, birds. Um, when you're a child your demon doesn't um, pick a fixed creature to be, it fluctuates between different ones. 
like Lyra's will be a white ermine or a bird of some description. Um, this all is leading to a big battle that is had with um, Eric Bernison in helping to fight against these witches that aren't witches like you would expect them to be. Um, they um, they seem to have two different sides. Um, to them, there's those that are more on the side of the ablation board, the goblers, and those that are more um, kind of agreeing with Lord Azrael. Um, so I found this book really good. Um, I didn't actually rate the film when I saw it, and the film just kind of cut off at a point where they're on this um, airship thing that's run by this bloke, um, and you don't get to see the rest of what goes on really because there was no second film made it's part of book series um the second one's called the subtle knife i do believe if you are interested in this northern light series now that there are four books out on the continuing name journey of lyra and her um demon etc um i would recommend going and getting these books um, I have other books that I'm now reading. Um, I'm reading near S.J. Jones' Winter Song now, and be moving on to Shadow Song. I have a bunch of other books that I haven't finished that I've kind of done reviews on my second channel, Magic Reviews. Um, there is a page on Facebook for that if you want to look at those videos, and I shall be back with more reviews soon. Bye.